Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel team of the year. Day number one was today. I want to talk about all the market movements that we saw today uh, in terms of the, all the packs and the lightning rounds that were opened. Of course, talking about the new team of the year cards, the Objective Iniesta and the SBC Neuer and the other SBCs that we got today. Uh, obviously, I want to first start off by talking about the Team of the Year cards. Obviously, insane, insane Team of the Year cards. Really awesome cards that came out today. There was a little bit of like a, a glitch and a hiccup, I guess, to start off uh, Team of the Year with this Mane card. Supposedly, it came out right away and it was shown that it was 98 rated, but it was actually 97. So I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen with that. I think it is just going to be a 97 rated card. But regardless, incredible, incredible stat boost for Mbappe, for Mane, and for Messi. So these are insane, insane Team of the Year cards. Huge stat boost, which is what you always expect with Team of the Years. But I think the Mbappe one out of these three might be the one that is, um, I guess... The, the biggest X factor, I think, with the dynamic image with the blonde hair, I think, is, like, really sweet. We, I don't know if we've had a blonde hair dynamic image on Mbappe yet, uh, like, in the past couple years. Have we? I don't think we have, but this is a pretty recent, like, I think it's a pretty recent hairdo for him. Uh, so that's a pretty sweet dynamic image. It just looks cool with, like, the rest of the gold card, you know? Uh, so that's kind of cool. The Messi card, obviously, with 99 rated. I wish they would have given him 99 shot and maybe even, like, 99 pace. Just come on. He, he won Ballon d'Or. I know some people said they wish they would have seen the Messi dynamic image be him uh, with the Ballon d'Or trophy as well. That would have been kind of cool. But um, the, I don't think anybody can complain about those three team of the year attackers today. Uh, crazy price movements with those. And we'll talk about those in a second as well. But what I also want to talk about is the... Um, I want to talk about the vote today. So I voted for Lewandowski. There was obviously a uh, 12th man vote today and it was kind of interesting as well there was some stuff put on twitter about who those uh players for the player pick were going to be and they ended up being different from the ones that we actually saw in game those are like the two hiccups that we saw today with the release of team of the year it was lewa it was ziyech it was um ronaldo and i forget the other two but i think the most popular three were, the, were those that i just mentioned right there Lewandowski, cristiano ronaldo and ziyech and i do think it's going to come down to Lewandowski. And Ronaldo. I've seen so many people that have voted Lewandowski today. It's crazy, but it's obviously Cristiano Ronaldo that he's going up against. So we'll really see if what happens with the voting. And I think that player comes out on Friday. So the full team of the year, which is basically they they base this the same as they did it last year. Uh, as of now, it's that's what it's looking like. Uh, but they're basing this off kind of the same thing they did last year. Uh, this is definitely not the right price range. But they're putting the attackers in packs right away to start off with. And then they are putting the midfielders the next day. And then they're putting the um, they're putting the defenders after that. So I do think that we are going to see the midfielders in packs for 24 hours today. There's a lot of people that are looking at this card right now. Sadio Mane was supposedly like 12 pages of supply in the middle part of the day. Uh, right now it is later nighttime and he has about 7.5 or 8. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, there's a lot of people that flip these cards today. Uh, with big big time coin budgets, uh, especially the extinction of Messi and Mbappe right away at the start of the game, people were flipping these cards and made some big time money on these cards, which is a big time GG. If you if you were able to flip one of these today, they were extinct at six million for the first like 45 minutes. They got their price ranged up to nine, and a lot of people sold them around kind of like that you know, eight to nine mil range and made a lot of profit on those cards for the great timing that that was. There's always going to be opportunities like that when you have the price range differences. And that's something that, you know, is it's a big balls move. Uh, and I don't usually get to do that a lot myself because I'm usually at work and stuff like that. Um, but that's something that if you have the time to do, it is uh, very, very profitable. Just like there were many other areas of the market today that were super duper prof profitable, kind of like the stuff that I talked about in my upload yesterday about the panic selling of the icons and stuff like that. But again, day one, we did get those three team of the year cards. Those are the only one in packs. They ran lightning rounds at multiple points throughout the day. They actually, the lightning rounds were at very interesting times today. They ran the usual 6 p.m., 7 p.m., and 8 p.m. lightning rounds with the 50, 100, and 125K packs. Then they also ran a lightning round, when was it? At a 10 p.m. UK of 125K packs. So I think those are the only lightning rounds we have or have had today as a part of the first day of team of the year 
Um, but there, are, of course, are other promo packs in the store. But that was just interesting that we got that fourth extra lightning round a couple hours after we normally see them end. But we also got two SBCs today, a Team of the Year Challenge SBC for a pack. GG's. Go do yourself this SBC. I think it's pretty cheap. Get yourself a pack. Uh, and then Manuel Neuer. And I think a lot of people are interested in this card. If we keep... this is When I saw this card today, I was honestly happy because I think this is the type of SBC that a lot of people want to see, right? That is a great big-name player. Of course, it's a goalkeeper. So, you know... If, it's probably not a ton of people are going to do this SBC, but it's cool, right? If you're a Bayern fan, um, if you're just a Neuer fan, if you're a Germany fan, this is probably an SBC that you want to do. Not the easiest to link, if I'm being honest. You kind of need uh, Baby Mateus or you know somebody that you can, maybe another icon center back. It's going to be a little bit harder to get links to a Neuer like this um, in this year's FIFA, which we don't have a ton of Bundesliga center backs or even Bayern center backs that are super duper meta or anything like that. But there are some solid ones out there. Lucas Hernandez is the ones to watch and stuff like that. So, uh, there are some people that are definitely going to try to get this card. I think it's a decent SBC, not bad, uh, just solid, but I like the boost and I like the player selection. That's the thing that I found most promising about this SBC today. So this is out for three days. Uh, we'll talk about the SBC fodder part of the market here in a second. As well, I also want to look at objectives. Of course, last night we saw this flashback Iniesta was put into concepts. It came out today as an objective player. And I think people are actually going to go out and grind this because it does take a lot. And I don't know if they gave us enough time to do this. I think it, they have like three days, three days and 14 hours to do this objective, which honestly isn't a ton because you have to win six rivals matches. You have to get four rivals wins for that. You have to assist eight goals. Okay, that's not too bad. You have to play some squad battles, three squad battle wins, and then two separate rivals wins. So it does take a little bit of grinding for this card, but if you're an Iniesta fan, uh, then it's definitely something you probably want to do. I just wish, and I think you saw a lot of people mention this today as well, I think you wish that they would have boosted the card a little bit more just based on just based on Iniesta, right? Give him that 80 pace, you know, give him like the 99 dribbling or maybe like the 98 passing, you know, just boost him up a little bit more. Like it's a good card. It's solid, but you know, I don't think a ton of people are going to go out and do this objective just because it is a pretty grindy objective, but it is Iniesta as well. So I do think some people will, you saw a couple bit of, you caught there, excuse me. You saw a couple market movements because of that today inform uh saul was one of them because you needed 11 spanish players so there were some spanish informs that went up today uh so maybe you got a little bit lucky if you maybe invested in a card like this this is one of my most popular thursday flipping cards that i like to mess around with so that was pretty nice uh but yeah that was kind of the content that we got today in FIFA. we got the the neuer we got the objective the team of the year challenge we also got a luis suarez player of the month SBC, uh, which if you're a Barcelona fan, again, this is not a bad SBC, not a terrible card. Of course, he doesn't have the four star skills this year, isn't as meta as he has been in years past, uh, but not a terrible card. 82 acceleration, it makes his 79 pace a little bit more bearable. Actually, you know, I heard a couple people mention you could probably play this guy at center attack in mid, maybe throw an engine on him, boost his passing, boost his dribbling, boost that agility and balance just a little bit, or maybe you play him as striker. Uh, like is a false nine guy or something like that. His passing really isn't that bad, especially if you boost it a bit. Uh, 95 attack positioning, 94 finishing. So he's going to put the balls in in the box. But this SBC, I think, is right around 120K. And then the Neuer SBC is around 100,000 coins as well. So not bad value, like decent value. If you're if you're going to do that card no matter what, you're fine with paying the price for that kind of card right there, right? This kind of, his price right now is very, very similar to like a Team of the Year nominee Allison card. That's one way you could look at it, that those prices are pretty similar. One last thing about the content from today, a little bit of a disappointing factor as well. The packs back from both of these SBCs were untradeable. Like, come on, man. Why are they giving us untradeable rewards? We're already getting an untradeable player from the SBC. That's what I think a lot of people were also a little bit upset about today was the fact that we got untradeable rewards back from these SBCs that even gave us packs back. So it was nice to get a few packs back, but they were untradeable. So that kind of puts a damper on things a little bit. At least they gave us a tradable team of the year challenge uh, from an SBC today as well. But what else happened across the market? Of course, there was a lot of people eyeing those team of the year cards today. A lot of people were trading with those, flipping with those with the big balls flips. 
as it's uh, most often referred to. But this is the rest of the icon market. There was so much panic selling headed into the promotion, which I think was expected, especially on the higher tier, the meta guys over 500,000 coins, icons, and some of the other big time special cards that uh, you can see what happened right after the lightning rounds. And this, I think I talked about this yesterday in my video, especially I showed you the example of what I did last year with a baby George Best and what I was doing you know, picking that card up on the 59th minute, getting packed, you know, the prices were dropping down, panic selling from seeing the new team of the year attackers being in packs, and then the rebound that happened afterwards. And that is exactly what happened today. A lot of the panic selling happened, and there was also a lot of rebound that happened on today's game as well. So I want to look at a few cards right now that really did well. A lot of the ones that did the best were actually prime icons. Prime icons had some of the best rebounds today. How much is Nedved right now? I saw Nedved today in the panic under 800,000 coins. And we're talking like, I'm pretty sure I saw him at like 770 or 780 uh, on like an undercut. But he was consistently right around 800k flat uh, earlier today. He's 845 right now, but you could probably get the sale maybe around like 850 or 860 overnight yet tonight. So that's a nice rebound on a card like that. Uh, another one that I wanted to look at as well was what is his name i just looked at him what is his name carlos puyol carlos puyol i want to show you this card as well so carlos puyol today actually didn't really go down look how rare he is man some of the, that's the issue with some of these prime cards is that people panic sold them they saw how cheap they went they saw how expensive the team of the year cards were and they went and they bought these cards back later today so this carlos puyol was down like 500 and like 50, 560K, I do believe at one point, he's already back up to 645. So that's a really nice rise on a card like that. Uh, and I think this Prime Lampard as well, I saw this card uh, fluctuate a, a decent amount during the day today as well. He was 500K flat at one point, now back up to 550. So that's a nice 50,000 coin rise on a Prime Icon like Lampard. So there was a lot of those movements on the market that happened today. And I've kind of, I kind of expected that to be, to be honest with you, just because of the, all the packs that were open. Now there are, I can't go in here because I'm on a sign at the moment uh, on Premier League rare golds, but there were tons of packs that were able to be open today. Uh, lightning rounds that continued on. And that of course, and it, this goes and also kind of explains why we saw this massive rebound, right? Because those team of the years were very expensive. But they're also, for the rest of the market that maybe couldn't afford a team of the year, but opened up saved packs today or did lightning rounds, that put a lot of coins onto the game. And, and if you remember this, I've been talking about how the team of the year probably is going to resemble somewhat closely the Black Friday promo that we saw earlier this year. And this is the first start of that and exactly mimicking what happened on Black Friday was that first bit of a round where we got pack supply back onto the market. People have been selling things, heading into the promo. Uh, this week, just like Black Friday, people were taking massive losses. I mean, we looked on stream of people that were selling middle hullet last week or earlier earlier this week, just before Team of the Year started. We were looking at guys that bought this middle hullet card for almost 6 million coins that were trying to sell it for like 4.3 or 4.4 million coins. That's just kind of the crazy stuff that you see with a, down, a downturn of the market and panic selling heading into a promo like Team of the Year. And now you see coins coming onto the market through lightning rounds and people opening up saved packs, which then uh, makes the just makes the game and makes the market a lot more rich and a lot more, you know, they just have more coins. So you see things like SBCs being done. SBC fodder rises because cards uh, in the game, people are completing SBCs because they have coins. People are buying cards. And that is why last night i invested in a lot of out of pack special cards that were pretty meta i've gotten some lazy buyers today and we're going to talk about some other possible investments at the end of this video here in a bit of what we could be picking up for more rises later this week uh, but since i'm unassigned i really don't have much of a hurry to sell a lot of these cards that i bought so i went about three to four million coins deep in a lot of these i've had a few of them sell so i have about five hundred thousand coins right now at the moment but uh, I just basically bought a lot of out of pack special cards that re were really low. I bought these Ben Yetters for 155 to 160,000 coins. He's now 175, but I'm hoping to get, you know, 180, 190 a little bit later this week. The Sancho was it bought at like 115. These Verners were bought at like 135. These Allisons are still kind of low, and I'm a huge fan of this one because even if they somehow put Team of the Year nominees back in packs later this week, which I think they could do maybe on like a Thursday or Friday, 
is say, oh, we're going to throw these nominees back in packs for the rest of the promo too. That's something to keep in mind. I think it's possible. Uh, does it? Ha is there a high chance of that happening? Not really, but I do think that's possible. Um, but his team of the year card obviously is going to be in the game uh, at the end of this week well as well. So that card might not be in packs, but also a very, very popular inform. Some left wing Sterlings basically for the position change and some other meta informs as well. Uh, that's the kind of stuff that I sunk my teeth into. And I also went unassigned on the Premier League rare gold cards. And that's because I am looking to do tons and tons and tons of um, upgrade packs from the Premier League because I do want to pack myself a team of the year. That is the basis of me doing all these SBCs. Uh, and I'm really counting on those SBCs coming out, right? I'm really counting on those coming out. Hopefully they come out today on Tuesday. That's when they came out last year. So I'm really counting on those and looking forward to those. But if you were able to flip cards today, you probably made the most return on your investment. That was the smartest thing to do. And I think that's going to be the smartest thing to do today as well. I want to take a look here in just a few minutes at um, the stuff that we could also be trading uh, and look at maybe even doing some of the same stuff that we did today on the market on Monday. Do it on Tuesday as well for when the midfielders come out into this game. First of all, I want to look at SBC fodder. Are these down? Yes, they are. This is why I was kind of telling you guys you're crazy if any of you invested in these cards before team of the year because of all the packs that were going to be open. We had four sets of lightning rounds. I'm sure that people opened up some of their safe packs today and you saw these guys definitely drop down in price. 85s are now 8K. 84s are around three, three and a half or 4,000 coins. I mean, to be honest with you, this Arthur card at 3.9K is ridiculous. That's going to have to go up at some point during this promo. A lot of these guys were even cheaper on bid. 86 is at 14K, 87 is at 20K. I can almost guarantee you there is going to be a Real Madrid. Somebody from Real Madrid is going to get an SBC during this promo. What would be team of the year without a Real Madrid player, right? Of course, a lot of people are saying Marcelo could be that person. Maybe even another Gareth Bale SBC, just a possibility. Uh, so I'm a huge fan of like a Casemiro and a Benzema under 20,000 coins and a, and a Courtois uh, for a decent price. Even James Rodriguez. I'm a fan of those guys. If you're going to invest in a specific, um, you know, 87 or 88 or 85 rated card. But I do think we're getting into the range where you can definitely club stock these cards. Uh, they're going to get hammered with more and more lightning rounds throughout this week. So I would not say that going... Um, I would not say that going all out on SBC fodder is the smartest thing to do, even though it's low. We're due a lot more SBCs this week, but we're also due a lot more packs. So I do think that all the packs opened up later this week is going to inhibit some of these rises. The real money is only going to be in, let's say they do release a Marcelo flashback. If you have Real Madrid players and they require them, then you might be able to make some coins on an investment like that. But the safe thing to do if you're interested in getting some of these in your club is probably just doing a high rated club stock, getting one of each, throwing in your club. And I would go from 84s all the way up to 90, man. I would go through 84s to 90, get all the cheap ones, you know, 87s that are 20K, that's awesome. 88s are 25, that's great. 89s around 30, fantastic. And then uh, Tristegan's 40,000 coins. Modric, 40K, stock one in the club uh, and just wait for more SBCs to come out. So I'm a fan of those right there. The other thing that I wanna talk about possibly investment wise is this team of the week obviously this team of the week today it went really really low i bought myself an anthony martial at 110,000 coins and i just sold him for 125 i think you're gonna have another opportunity to do this today on tuesday buying these team of the week cards during the lightning rounds look at what happened today to martial's price people knew that it was coming they panic sold him the panic sold him he's 150 140 boom 115,000 coins. This is right when I bought him. He rebounded right back to 133, and we actually got hit with more lightning rounds right at this time. So we kind of dropped back down to like 128. He's 121 at the moment. Um, but I think there's going to be a fantastic opportunity to buy this week's team of the week during tomorrow's lightning rounds. Is it going to be a good idea? I think it's not a terrible idea because these guys only had two days of lightning round supply. And before that, there were not a lot of packs opened other than weekend league rewards. That was the only pack supply for this team of the week earlier this week. And there's a lot of players in here that are going to make it into people's teams after the team of the year. So Marshall is one of my favorites, Aguero, Adama Traore, probably Trent and Conte. Kane is okay, but Kane actually has a lot of supply for a 93 rated card, but it's probably going to be Kane's last special card for a while because he is injured. So if you're interested in investing in any of these Team of the Week cards, look for today during lightning rounds.
to be a great opportunity to pick some of those cards up. We're talking like around the second lightning round, you know, maybe 7 p.m. UK-ish, 7 to 7.30 p.m. UK-ish is when I would say get on some of the lightning rounds, get on some of the bids for some of these cards. Bids especially are going to be easier to get insane deals on some of these cards uh, like an Anthony Martial or if, if you have a favorite out of any of those cards that I had listed there, uh, any of those that could be in this week's team of the week, that could be a potential riser. I do think they do have uh, a great opportunity to rise and especially since they're on a lower budget, right? 100,000 coins. Let's say you just want this Martial for your team. It's a perfect card to pick up as an investment and a card for your team right there. So that's what I think about team of the week. I do think a lot of people are going to invest in it. So that's one word of caution I might have for you is really make sure you can try to get the lowest, lowest price um, as these guys do go out of packs uh, on the end of the day, Tuesday into Wednesday. So we'll be getting a new team of the week on Wednesday and that team of the week is going to start out with a lot of supply from lightning rounds as well. But this one that we're on the tail end of, I do think is a decent investment uh, in terms of rising out of packs later this week. Other stuff that I think you could do, again, icons. Even if you only have like 500,000 coins like me, you can look at some of these baby icons that people like to trade with and play with all the time. Michael Owen, how much is he right now? This card earlier today was 125,000 coins. He is now 140. He was bought back up to like 145, almost 150 at one point earlier today. Um, and again, as the attackers, a lot of people panic sold their attackers, whether it was icons, whether it was high informed special cards and stuff like that. You can probably expect to see some more packs being opened again tomorrow with the midfielders coming into packs. I mean, today, I always say today and tomorrow, I get them mixed up, right? Cause I'm recording this on Monday night, but you're going to be watching it on Tuesday. So to me, Tuesday is tomorrow, but it's actually today for you. So, you know, you, you get, you get what, what I'm saying. The midfielders are in packs on Tuesday. Watch for another drop in a card in price like this, especially uh, watch some of the midfielders, right? So maybe maybe you watch a pretty cheap prime card like that Lampard could be a good example again. Maybe people tomorrow that bought this card and wanted to go try it out, maybe they panic sell this card tomorrow, it gets packed more. The, the, careful th the thing that I would say to be careful with is though, these cards are going to continually get more and more supply on the market. So today, uh, how much was Lampard earlier today? Let's look at Lampard really quick. What was he before? What was he before all the packs and everything came out today? I want to take a peek at this. Lampard was 510. Ooh, 510. That was a big time undercut. He is not there anymore. But before the, the lightning round today, 620K, 650. He was 600K, dipped down to 520, 510. Now he's back up to like 550, 560ish, right? How much is he going to drop tomorrow? Well, since he went back up to 550 and he's kind of still chilling, maybe like 520, 530. Tomorrow or Tuesday, I could easily see him under 500K, maybe like 475 at his very lowest, right? You might see this guy at about 475K, maybe 480, maybe 490, uh, because I do think he'll drop lower than what he did today, but he won't rebound as high, right? So I don't think tomorrow night you can expect this guy to go to 550. I would expect you to see him maybe around like 530 or 540. Maybe not quite the rebound that he had tonight because he's going to have more supply on the market and there's going to be other cards out that people might want to go and try. So that's one thing to think of. You might see more of a crash in some of the prime icon prices tomorrow, especially if they're kind of in this range, right? If they're if they're in like the root hole at range, you, I do think you're going to see more of a crash in a guy like this. But you probably, you know, the buyback is going to be really intriguing to watch in a card like this as well, just because it's so rare. 4.5 mil right now. This might be again 4.2 or 4.3 tomorrow, depending on the prices of some of the team of the years. If they come out cheap, then this guy might go cheaper. If they come out really expensive, then this guy might hold his price and even rise up a little bit as people would just buy back this type of card if the team of the years are stupid expensive. I don't think the midfielders are going to be that expensive today as the attackers were because these are the guys that everybody wanted to see, right? Now, Conte, De Jong, De Bruyne, yes, people are going to be interested in, but I don't know if they're going to have as much of the hype as these attackers did today. I would expect these guys' day one prices to look a lot like Mane's, somewhere in the range of like two to four million coins uh, from the, the from the start. Honestly, KDB might be five or so to start off and then dip down. Conte would probably be three, two and a half. De Jong would probably be even like two and a half down to around two million, maybe dipping under two in the nighttime. Uh, but we'll talk about a little bit of these uh, tomorrow a little bit more. And again, watch for the panic selling on the mids for the icons, okay? The mids for the icons 
is where I would especially watch for your panic selling again, your Vieiras, your Hullets, your stuff like that. And just of course being in lightning rounds, right? I'm probably gonna get another SBC tomorrow as well, another flashback or a player moments. Uh, so maybe some link investments or stuff for that could be an interesting look to buy as well. But again, if you're looking to trade in this market, it's a fantastic, fantastic time to trade. A lot of undercuts, a lot of panic selling because of the cards that are coming out, especially in the upper tier icon echelon. That's a fantastic, fantastic place to trade as this market gets more coins and as this market gets richer and people go out and buy cards like that instead of um, you know losing coins and being just kind of you know, dead in the water in terms of FIFA Ultimate Team coins uh, based on all the panic selling that we have had before this promo. Another thing that I really hope happens tomorrow, and you've heard me mentioned already, is upgrade packs. Please, upgrade packs, come. I'm ready for you. I'm ready to spam upgrades for the rest of this week. If you haven't gotten some Prem Rares, that's one thing you can do during lightning rounds is get on these bids uh, for Premier League Golds. Max price 650 uh, minimum price 650, max price 750, and you can get a lot of these guys at like 650 to 700 coins. You know what? All right, there's there's people that are bidding 650. Let me see if I can bid 700 a couple of these and win them on a bid because uh, there's a lot of people that are going to want to do these packs, right? So I want to get a couple of these cards in my team, what or in my club, and I want to do a lot of packs during this promo. So. I'm going to be bidding on a lot of guys like these. Looks like 700 is kind of what you have to pay for them if you want to win any of them, which is interesting. Uh, but that's one thing you got, can guys you guys can do as well. Even some La Ligas might be a decent pickup uh, for people that want to try to pack a Messi or a De Young Team of the Year card from those upgrades as well. And hopefully, again, those do come today. So again, I do think it's going to be another day of like panic selling, dipping in cards, prices, uh, icons especially, some panic on the market, another SBC. It's just going to be a fun day to see the, the ratings of the cards for De Bruyne, Conte, De Young. It's going to be interesting to see what rating EA Sports gives those cards, and it should be a fun one. Team of the year, awesome cards, awesome upgrades, and of course, some crazy market movements, tons of packs being opened, and fun SBCs as well. So let's hope that day two of FIFA, team of the year, FIFA 20 team of the year, is a banger just like day one was, because uh, I think day one was fun. It was cool, decent SBCs, nice objective for those who want it, and then uh, big time boost on some of those team of the year cards. And again, I hope that they continue that through the rest of this week. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.